What's up guys, it's Edge, and uh, today I've got some gun game for you, Black Ops 2 multiplayer obviously, and it's a pretty great match, it's another really comeback match, I have a lot of those, um, I go on like a crazy like like 7 kill streak here in the middle, and I do pretty poor at the beginning, but that keeps going on, um, so yeah, today I wanted to talk a little bit about YouTube tips, because um, I realize that I've I've done a lot of things right and I've done a lot of things wrong when I've you know started doing YouTube and I'm still very small but um, I'm bigger than a lot of people that are well obviously when you're starting you have nothing so you know you can still learn from people that have just a little bit more than you um, so to start off with I want to say that uh, a big reason why I'm still around is probably because of the Mine Creek server and the community there. Because if you don't get any feedback from your viewers and you don't have a community to back you up, then you kind of lose the interest in uh, making the videos. You're like, oh, if no one cares, wh why do it, right? Also, it gives you a lot more um, resources. You can share resources and also you can contact those people that, um, for like to do like co op stuff and like dual comms and that kind of thing and so that leads me into that which is dual comms and uh, how they how they really help you in the beginning why, why it's one of the best ways to get subscriber your sus subscriber base bigger and um, this is the more simpler thing to do than uh, the other things I have in mind but for co-op what you can do when you're doing dual comms is what happens is you swap subscribers pretty much. All your subscribers see a big old advertisement for the other person you're doing it with and vice versa. And uh, this is also really good because most likely you're playing a game that both of your subscriber bases will enjoy, um, which means you're probably similar commentators if you're doing this together and you have good chemistry and stuff. So not only are you finding an audience, you're targeting the perfect audience that would like to come watch stuff on your channel as well so that is a huge thing now another thing and this is in the podcast a little bit that we were doing uh, yesterday it's up now you should go check it out I'll actually put a link in the description to the podcast for this episode because it's a pretty cool one um, I was talking to monkey and he was like I, I feel like I can't do any other game besides Minecraft since that's what I started on and some people say the same thing about starting with Call of Duty I'm pretty sure so what I'd like to say is the way that you transition or semi-transition which is what I did with Call of Duty because I started off with only Minecraft and I slowly merged over to doing both the way you want to do that and the way that I did it and it helped and I was struggling before I did this you put an ad up for one of your Call of Duty videos on YouTube or on Google and you only put it up for a couple of days just enough that you get a good 10 to 15 subscribers it doesn't cost very much it cost me like 20 bucks you get 10 to 15 subscribers that that want that content, that specific content, because they clicked on that type of video and they saw it and they liked it. So that's exactly, you're, you're trying to target the audience that you don't have enough of, pretty much. And then once you do that, then that base will grow on its own along with the other game that you started with. So you'll have two subscriber bases growing, and then you also, of course, get people that watch both. So that is the best way to do it, in my opinion. Um, you don't want to comment on people's videos. That's no good. Um, sometimes you can ask. Some people like to uh, post in forums or ask people, like, hey, can you check out my contact? Just see if it's good. And uh, usually they'll give you good pointers from that, too. If they don't like it, they'll say, you know, this is what you should have done better, and that would have captivated me a lot better. So I, I, I believe in that as well. I think that is a good way to do it. Um, as long as you're being truthful and honest and that you want their support, you want their opinion, then I think it's okay to do. Um, other than that, I mean, you, you just gotta, you gotta have a good mic. I mean, I, I'm sure you've heard that before, other places and other, yeah, other videos. You, you need a good mic. People are not gonna listen to this crap mic that you've got, your phone, whatever. Especially if you're small and you don't have anybody who's who like understands your humor as much, I guess you could say. You really need a good mic so people can 
so people can listen to it because they have so many options to choose from especially if you're a smaller channel there's so many small channels that that's one easy thing that you can get ahead of them that will um, bring bring the viewers to you so I'm about out of time for this gameplay uh, maybe I'll do another tips video later but uh, that's it for today thank you guys for watching unfortunately didn't get the win I almost did I had the ballistic knives I had them I was so close but this guy had him for longer, so props to him. Did a good job, whoever that is. Don't know. Anyways, thank you guys. See you in the next one.